What's up guys, this is John Simmons, also known as DJ Wu Pig, owner of Crown Entertainment, and today I'm back at you with a, another video. I just want to do a quick video on something all DJs should have, my phone just went off, uh, on something all DJs should have, and that is a DJ toolkit that's got plenty of things that you need just in case you run into a problem, uh, or things that you just need to have at every single one of your gigs. Um, so... This here is my toolkit. Uh, just kind of give you an idea of what I'm talking about here. This is just an old tackle box uh, that I've converted. It's got a bunch of adapters and uh, and different things in there. So I'm just gonna hush. My puppy's whining. Uh, but I'm just gonna show you what all is in here. Uh, let me open it up just to kind of give you an idea of what you need to be carrying with you um, to all your events. So um, it's got a compartment for batteries. You always need batteries. Uh, AA, I've got AAA, and I've got 9 volt. Uh, this here is a receptacle tester. I don't know if y'all can see that. Uh, but it'll tell you uh, the current status of any receptacle that you're plugging into. Um, and I plug this into every uh, receptacle that I'm going to use just in case something is crisscrossed. Uh, you don't want any uh, problems uh, or short, uh, short circuit your gear or anything like that. Um, another thing, uh, adapter wise, we've got uh, quarter uh, TRS to XLR. You can buy all of these adapters. I picked up a lot of them off of uh, off of eBay, um, and you can you can never have too many uh, mini to quarter, uh, especially for your DJ mixers. I've always got a set of uh, of earbuds. Uh, just, I've, I can't tell you how many times I've been to the club and have been mixing at home and left my earphones at home. Uh, so now even even club wise, I always take this kit with me. And my phone keeps going off. Uh, yeah, I always take this with me uh, just in case. Now, earbuds don't work as good as your DJ headphones, but it works a lot better than nothing, especially if you leave them at home. Um, this is a speak on the quarter uh, adapter. And I've got two of them here. That's another one. That's a different style without the little uh, plug on it. That's a Neutrik connector. Uh, this as well as a Neutrik, but I think that's one I actually uh, made myself. So uh, speak on to quarter just in case you're going uh, to one of your cord shorts out and you need to use a uh, quarter. Hey, hush. You need to use a quarter. I think she's got to go to the bathroom. Uh, a quarter to a, uh, or not quarter, a speak on to quarter uh, for your speakers. Uh... Let's see here. This is a speak on end, uh, just in case one breaks. This is a cheaper one I bought off the internet, uh, made out of plastic. It's not as good as the Nortrick connectors. Uh, I've also got a, a quarter inch connector. That way you can make your own cable on site in case one of your connectors, uh, the tips of it break off or uh, one just itself breaks. Um, a quarter to, uh, to RCA for uh, different applications going to power amps and stuff like that. Uh, that's another good thing. Um, if you're running uh, video or long leads of uh, RCA uh, audio, always have these barrel adapters right here just in case you've got a shorter, uh, you've got too short of a RCA, but you've got two of them. You can couple these together and it works out great. Um, this is a mini split. Uh, mini to dual, dual mini uh, female. That's pretty handy. Um, let's see here. Electrical tape. Always good to have electrical tape. You never know. You never know. Just in case you got to have a, a, cable, a cable made on site and you don't have your soldering iron. Uh, you're not going to take a soldering iron with you, but electrical uh, tape will work until you get back home and, uh, and get that situation figured out. Um, this right here is a speak on uh, barrel adapter if you need to hook two uh, speak ons together if you're making a long run and your cables not long enough uh, this is what you need uh, ground lift you never know uh, I, I typically don't like to use these uh, but you always need to have one or two just in case um, I don't like to use them but I have them like I said just in case uh, let's see here this guy 
is a, uh, a TRS to, uh, to TRS split, uh, one to two, one to two, uh, just in case you've got uh, a musician like a guitar or something, uh, he doesn't have a monitor or doesn't need a monitor, but you want to go out of your mixer uh, and let him uh, tune up via headphones or something like that, uh, this thing has come in handy. Or if you need to split signal uh, coming out of your mixer going to opposite places, uh, that works out well too. What else do we have in here? Sharpie, always need a Sharpie, uh, especially if you're making marks on your mixer or console, if you got console tape, uh, if you're mixing uh, several things during a ceremony, like you got a guitarist, uh, vocal mics, uh, iPad or iPod, uh, need to have that stuff marked, or if you find a bad cable uh, during the night, uh, you need to mark that, that way you don't use it for future use, that way you can get it back home and test it out and see what's up. Uh, this is a remote to my uh, American DJ uh, lights, uh, whether it be my uh, Mega Tri par profiles, my Mega Bar 50s. All, I've got several of these guys, two or three of them. I keep, keep one in the lighting uh, box, uh, one in my safety kit just in case. This is a, uh, a 12 a voltage uh, detector, 12 volt voltage detector. See if you can see that right there. This is a very important tool um, because you never, you know, if you fire stuff up and you don't know whether you've got power or something's not working right, uh, I use this guy all the time just to make sure I've got uh, proper power flowing. You turn it on and it makes a little noise. And then once you get close to an electrical connection, I think I've got, uh, yeah. I've got extension cord plugged in right here uh, to the lights I'm running in the back for the lighting for this video. Uh, this is hot, and it'll make a noise if you've got a uh, hot signal running to it, and it'll flash up. No, it's not on hot, and then there, it's on hot. Uh, so that's very useful. If you fire something up and it's not coming on, um, you need to get one of these. That way you can know whether, you, whether or not you've got power. So we're going to shut that off. It'll beep twice uh, whenever you shut it off. And that's all I have inside of this toolkit, but I've got a, a whole bag. Um, let's see if it's not buried. I've got a, one of these. I, I earned my advantage points uh, via American DJ, and they send you out this little hardware bag, and that's what I keep all this stuff in. Uh, I've got... Velcro's uh, got little, uh, there's another uh, lighting remote, uh, got several, you know, little screwdrivers, mini screwdrivers, you never know, you've got to take something apart, especially mic cable or something like that. Um, what else is inside of here? Flashlight, um, I keep a set of Allen wrenches for my uh, moving heads and scans. Um, a paintbrush for dusting off equipment, mixers, and stuff like that. Uh, zip ties is good. You always want to have a, a couple of those handy. Cheesecloth. Um, I don't know if y'all can see that. Cheesecloth. You might wonder uh, why I have cheesecloth, but um, you can actually inside these old clamps. After a while, they've got grooves in them. Let me see if I can open this up and y'all can see it. See if you can see that. Yeah, they've got grooves inside of there. Yeah, but after a while, they won't grip as well as they used to. So you can take this cheesecloth here, and you're, you know, after a while, they'll start to slip, and your light won't stay uh, where you want it. You can take this cheesecloth, and I just rip, rip parts of it off. That wasn't a very good example. But you can, you can rip that off like so, and put that inside of the O-clamp, like so, clamp it on, and your lights will never move, especially if you're running some heavy scans like I am. Uh, that works phenomenally.
And that's all for that. I also have got a tape measure and some other stuff in there. But uh, that's just a little example. This guy right here is one of the most things, uh, important things I have inside of my toolkit. This is a, uh, a cable tester from Seismic Audio. And this tests all cable. Uh, whether you've got a, if you think you've got a short circuit, a cable's not working right, a speaker cable, whatever. Let me see if I can show y'all all the connections it's got on there. Uh, Quarter TRS MIDI cable for all you guys running uh, mid, uh, 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 DMX off of MIDI control, uh, RCA, XLR, speak on, and all the pins. Whenever you've got it on there right, you can uh, like uh, let's say you're running a uh, XLR cable three pin. Uh, you can go through there and spin it, and it will light up whenever they're properly adjusted. That's battery check. You can see the little indicator will light up. Let me see if I've got a, an XLR hanging out. In fact, I do. This is a small, small XLR jump. I'm just going to use this uh, for the purpose of the video. But let's see here. You hook into one end. One end's got female. One end's got male. And then you hook into the other end. Now this makes a full circuit. So once that's still on battery check but pin one's good pin two's good pin three's good so you know this cable's working and there's no problems especially if you, this does dmx too uh, so especially if you're having problems out of your lights or cable um, i highly highly uh, recommend getting one of these cable testers i bought this one from seismic audio uh, it uses a 9-volt battery. I've had that battery in there for, uh, man, probably a year or so now. This battery still works. Um, so this is one of the most important things. This takes a lot of frustration out of the mix. Uh, that way you can just swap out a cable and uh, you don't have to troubleshoot uh, and go through your whole thing. You can just unplug, plug, plug, test the cable. That cable's good. On to the next problem. Uh, so this is... All DJs need to have uh, something like this, a cable tester. I bought this one from Seismic. It's yellow. Uh, it's got all the diagrams and stuff on there. Yeah, it's got all the diagrams, tip sleeve ring uh, for all your cables uh, right there. Test uh, Speak On, XLR, RCA, MIDI, and Quarter TRS. So this has saved my butt countless of times. I think I paid right at 40 bucks for this guy. You definitely need one of these. Along with all the other stuff, uh, I think everything that I have in my toolkit is something that I use on a regular basis. Uh, and it's something that you need to have. Just in, You never know when you walk into these venues what problems you're going to run into. So uh, that's just a quick, well, I say quick, we're right at 13 minutes now, um, video on a DJ toolkit. I suggest all DJs put one of those together. Um, that way, any problem you run into, you've got uh, a solution to fix the problem. So until next time, it's DJ Woo Pig, uh, practice and enjoy.